What's up, YouTube? It's me, BD Heath, a back here with some more amphibia-related content. We've got Season 3, Episode... What is this, Episode 5? I honestly don't remember what episode this is. I think this is Episode 5, right? Let me check my channel real quick, make sure I actually don't have the wrong episode uploaded as it is right now. Uh... Episode 5, yes. So this is Episode 5, Parts A and B. We've got Fixing Frobo, Part A, and then and Sterminator, Part B. Now, predictions for this episode as it is, as... Episode 5A clearly states we're going to be fixing a Frobo into his new kind of washing machine form based off the human the parts in the human world, except for his head, which was recovered back in Season 2 finale. As for Anne's Terminator, we will might see the end of that robot we've been seeing in the last five episodes of Season 3 as it is. As we know, the King Andrew sent over that, ep that robot in the first episode. It's been here for the last four. It's lost an arm. It's lost a hand. It's lost its minions. I think this will be the last time we actually see the robot, but then you know, I could, be, could be referring to something else, I don't even know. So I, I, that's all I got for that part right there alone. Another thing I want to mention right now. Number one, my screen probably looks blue. It's because this red hoodie distorts the video. I'm not sure why. I just didn't feel like taking it off for this video because you guys are fine seeing me blue for a little bit. I don't think it's really that much of a problem. And it helps define my face more when it's blue, if I think so. Because you guys know that I got new lights upstairs. So that's the reason... Well, not lights upstairs. Lights on the ceiling. So it makes it brighter for me down here. But the blue kind of distorts it out a little bit. So it helps out a little bit. So I hope you guys don't mind that too much. And thirdly... 90% no, of the people that watch this channel are not subscribed, so if you want to see more of these amphibia reactions around here and you just enjoy my content overall, hit the like subscribe button down below. Let me see what you guys want to see more of on the channel, specifically related to amphibia content or just other stuff on the channel, including scare video reactions, gaming video reactions, and other stuff. Is that everything? I think I covered all the topics, right? Yep, one, two, three. Alright, we're good to go. Alrighty, let's get right into it. Fixin' Frobo. Hi, hi. Alrighty. And now, the internet. The answers to the mysteries of the universe right at your fingertips. It's an endless well of knowledge. More like an endless well of cat videos. It's not, she's not wrong though. You know, like that, that's not complete utter facts. Y you go into the internet, you get nothing but cat videos. YouTube's full of them. Check it out, it's a really fun time. Um, but no, so this is a problem as it is because we're going to be seeing the amphibia frog is related to the internet, which they've already seen a little bit off of Anne's phone. We know this because in season one, she introduced the the, um, the planters to her TV show on her phone. So they've already seen the internet somehow in the amphibia world before, but now they're seeing it in the human world on a laptop instead, or a Chromebook. I'm not sure what this actually is, so there's that. What's he look like? Okay, show us Frobo. Oh, hey. uh... So, what do you think? He needs some work, but honestly, p p look, look, out of e look, the planners here have made such an impact to the human world while they've been here. They've they've been looking at things differently, I suppose you could say. Polly has been doing a lot of good progress in the human world. She's been using her legs more. She's been interacting with more humans more. She taught all the Thai people in the Thai Temple episode, that was last episode, and now she's fixing up Frobo, kinda. So she's doing a lot of stuff that actually is helping her. By the way, this thing looks a lot like, um, like, in a way, it kinda reminds me of the, the Shaktron. Like, if you think about it in a way, look at the legs, and then you got the one arm off to the side, and the other arm is his original arm. And then you get, it, it's like, if you think about it like that, it kind of looks, reminds me of the tra of the Shaktron a little bit. I'm not sure anyone else is making that reference or not, but that's what I'm seeing out of it, so that's just me. Pretty impressive, right? Wow. Ah. Impressive's one way to put it. Gonna be just fine. Oh no. Something's supposed to happen, right? Ah. Finally, my new one of a kind limited edition controller. No! Oh. Turn that. Oh, hi, Domino. <laughs> Turn that thing off right now. The thing is a destroying machine. Although, in all fairness, as we all know, these robots, like Frobo, were not meant to be actually be a nice robot. The reason Frobo was made was because of an accident in the lab when Spriggan and looked at it back in season two when they were on the road. And the reason why this specific robot's different from the other ones was because. This was before King Andrews had the music box and made the other robots that were evil. So this ro so Frobo specifically is a robot that was unique because he he didn't have the function where he wanted to kill everything. Which that may come true and by the end of season three we might see the end of the evil robots and that 
they might be able to turn that off somehow so that they're just helping people instead of actually trying to kill everybody. Because that was the initial purpose of these robots. That, that, that's all I wanted to say there. I forbid you from working on this robot further. Wow. I'm with Hop Hop, Polly. I think and we should wait till we get back to Amphibia. Then maybe we can find someone who knows robots, you know? I know you miss him. We do too. But you just need to be patient. Hey, how about a new robot friend to play with? This is Teddy Lumpkins. No. He's to be my best friend. I eat yeah that's creepy all right so um definitely not uh what i will say though is that is this we all look while they're making sense to wait to go back to amphibia to fix up frobo why would you wait when you have people in the human world who know robotics better than almost every frog in amphibia except for king andrew because here's the thing I know King Andreas knows what the music box does to help him gain his army. Did, did he build those machines himself? No. I don't think he knows how to build them himself either, which is why I think they're going to revolt against him in the finale of this show. I think they're going to find a way to get the robots to go against King Andreas and turn the army on him. Now, if King Andreas dies or not, I don't think he personally will, because this is Disney. We, ha we don't really see a lot of deaths of Disney villains in these shows. Unless it's, like, not shown on screen in a specific way. That being said, don't look at Star vs. The Force of Evil because T Toffee got obliterated to literal dust in that show. Spoiler alert, sorry. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I'm just concerned about Polly because I feel like Polly really wants Robo back. And that's the reason she either, A, gets help from Anne in finding people on Earth who know robots. Or Polly herself finds people who know robots in the human world. And then we've got a problem there as it is. So, you know, we're just, you know, what are you going to do? That, like. Ugh. Eh, I forbid you. It's too dangerous. <laughs> the look on their faces was pretty funny, though, huh, Frobes? Oh, no. Mm. All right. You're still broken. But Damn. Don't worry. We can fix you. I just need to educate myself. Anne did say you can learn anything you want on the internet. I that is a blessing and a curse. <laughs> that is so true, though. You can learn anything on the internet, and that is not not wrong at all. You see, here's the thing. With the reason I love, like, this thing. Polly and Sprig's relationship is good. Plant, um, Hop, Pop, and Polly's relationship, also good. They're family, though. Same thing with Anne. At this point, Anne is her family as well. So when it comes to people being her friend... Polly doesn't have a lot of frogs back in Amphibia who actually are her friend in her age group. Like, there are the kids that are in Amphibia, who oh, I forget the name of her, but, like, there, she has her three sisters, her three younger sisters, who are her, Polly's age around there somewhere. But, that being said, other than those three, Polly doesn't really have anyone that's in her age group. So her being friends with the Frobo, even though it's not even a real person, but it's more robot than frog. It's still someone she cares about, and her putting herself and taking her time out of her time on Earth to get Frobo back in working order shows how much shows how much she cares about Frobo, and that's why I love how much Polly loves not only her family but the people who are close to her. I love that specific detail. I love it. Dougal. <laughs> Wait, what, wait, no, what are these websites? Hold on, wait, 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 what are these, okay, websites, so websites. There are specific websites in here, worry, we gotta check out, We're hold on, in. okay, Dougal, Wikipedia on robotics, I'm not sure what that one is, I feel like I should know it, I feel like that's like a pet site, uh, this is, this is Google Images, or Dougal Images, okay, okay, I know that one too, uh, that looked like some kind of Transformers website, if I'm being honest, meme of dog videos, or what looks to be a cat doing some kind of dance, that was YouTube for a bit there. Tube. It's Tube. It's called Tube. It's called Tube. <laughs> Love that. No, wait. What did that say? No, hold on. Wait. Hmm? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What did that say? You didn't. You didn't. Why? No. What? Why? Fork knife. Four knife. And I was. I. I why? <laughs> Why? We could have gone without it. You know, like, uh. Hopefully that section doesn't get cut because I talked over it. But if it does end up getting cut, basically Polly was just looking at stuff on the internet. 
and they made a Fortnite reference in Amphibia. And I'm disappointed, yet I'm laughing because it's super funny. Because I still play Fortnite today somehow. But, like, just why? Why the reference? I mean, it's funny, but it's like, no. Reference galore. That was two hours of my life I'll never get back. <laughs> it's a show. Anyone can make wow. it. Wow. If you have the will, the know-how. That is true. step-by-step -step tutorials. And remember, if, if it, it doesn't, doesn't compute, compute, it's time to reboot. They, that's a good slogan. And well, Tilt's on fire. Okay, hold on. No. I like I like how she was like, well, that's all I needed to hear. That's how it works with YouTube, I swear to God. YouTube, people go in there like, all right, if they're interesting, I'll keep watching. If they're not, turning it off. So they're interesting. All right, I'm hooked for three hours. Let's go. It's like, <laughs> like I'm there. Go for it. If I start a series on a YouTube channel that I like, I cannot stop watching it until it either ends or it dies off. One of the two. It's how it worked for me with Among Us, how it worked with Fortnite, it's how it worked with Call of Duty, how it worked with a lot of things. And, and I'm, that being said, I, mean, I don't mean the actual games, I mean the YouTube videos of them. At some point, you're going to find that you like more content more than something else on YouTube at some point in time. I mean, I watch a YouTuber every single morning when I get up and while I eat breakfast. Like, it, it's a daily thing for me. It happens every day. And it's not because I think that I can't watch anything else, it's because I enjoy watching that content. It's how it works for me. But yeah, that being said, hit the like button. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm, kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I mean, if you want to at this point, you can, but you're not, you don't have to. You know what I mean? You, you don't mean. Okay, cool. Molly. If you find that you're having problems with the sockets, okay. try finding any problematic lug nuts and tightening them up. Right, 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 okay. Nice job, Connect Polly. Right you get it? Wires. Yes. Don't forget to add cosmetics for flavor. <laughs> ah! I love that. What tools find just lying around the house. That is true. All right, it's time for That being said, the... the those, those, uh, you can make this in your own home. Those, those are so not true at all. I, I, they're good, but they're not, you know, they're not helpful. It's like those, uh, you can build this in five minute craft tools that work like one second and then they just break. I will say though that if you guys want to see me make a paper snowflake for your home for Christmas, let me know. Because I am super good at those somehow still. Then other paper. Would you like to see me do a crafting Ep TV thing on my YouTube channel where I just show people how to make certain things out of paper. I I am really good at the stuff like that. I don't know why I am. So yeah. So yeah. Let me know. Let me hit me up. Seriously. Um, You've heard that from is us. true. Now we want to hear from you. Chime in down below in the comments. Yeah. Comments. Query, ladies, there you go. But I think I'm just about Oh, oh no, Polly. 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 Oh. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. Okay. So. Here's the thing. What I'm noticing about this is this. Where I'm going to make this comparison right now. The comparison I'm seeing is like Polly's comparison is similar to Anne's situation last episode. Here's why. Polly is spending her entire night fixing Frobo, even after being told she shouldn't keep doing it. Anne was researching how to get the planters home, even after they told her she needs to get rest and stop worrying about them for a few days. Comparisons, people. These two both want a similar goal and are not listening to the people closer to them. It's a similar trait in this family. I swear to God. Also, I, I, as I forgot to mention earlier, can we talk about how Mr. Boonshoy lost his Amazon package to a Frobo laser? Like, that sucks, man. Like, I mean, it takes like one day shipping, but it still is like expensive as hell. You turning on? Power source? It's Power source. Time to call in the big gun. That no wait what oh my hey, god! How's it going? Well, actually, this is this has been trailer, so this my isn't expected, Polly, I suppose. Long story short, uh, I have a bit of a robotics issue. Oh my god! Oh. Is that a robot? Hey. It's beautiful. Out of the way, Panatron. I love the reference to Zoom calls in this thing because even though we're not seeing a like, was we've seen we've seen like some jokes took the virus in this, and all throughout these episodes, Sprigg's costume wearing a mask for a bit, now we've got Polly on Zoom calls, like, the references in here are really, really good, because it shows common life things going on in the background of all these episodes are going on as well, that relate to what's going on in our lives as well, and I love that. It's called a Vroom meeting, even though it's supposed to be Zoom, but you know what, it's fine, I love it regardless. Also love the the names of these people of, of the of the Zoom calls Anna Banana and It's Gals One. Love that. Love those names. Love it specifically. I am finding it curious though that they are not questioning the fact that this little 
girl, to their knowledge, has a giant robot in their garage that they've been working on. This is a tad bit. But then again, this show doesn't really have common sense of any kind. Put in those creepy animatronic children. Ah, oh, God. oh no. No, oh, no, 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 no. I definitely wouldn't yep. turn him on in your garage. Yep. Yeah. You'd need to be in a uh, big space like a warehouse um, and have tons of fire extinguishers. Um, that Polly? thing looks like it's capable Polly? of a lot of output. Polly? I'll say it again. Do not do this at home. Polly? Heck, we can actually help you run a space. It'll Polly? take a couple of weeks, but we think girls I'll take that into consideration. No, 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 no. Uh, out of curiosity, do you guys just think that maybe the, that the memory of that doll that was on the floor is going to transpire over into Frobo? If so, we got a big problem because that thing hates Polly as of right now because Polly threw it across the room like a like a rag doll. So it already hates Polly if it has memory. And if it does, it takes control of a laser beam Frobo. We have two monster killers here. What? Oh, what if the Ann Terminator means that she's going to destroy Frobo instead? Oh, God, that's messed up if it is. Amphibia, I'm on to you. Theories, people, theories. Theorists here. It's a game theory. What? I didn't steal that. Consequences, 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 consequences. This is bad, 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 bad. What is going on? like the prequels more. Look, and we just watched them in order with no context. You can't blame us for not having nostalgia. I did. Star Wars fans, how we feeling? Dude, like, I love this, the hidden jokes. Like, they're not really hidden, I suppose. I suppose. They're not really hidden, I suppose. But they're still funny regardless. This is like, if you are young, you don't get this. Like, if like, if, like, if, like an eight-year-old is watching this show and understands the show and they're laughing at it, they don't know what they're talking about. If you're an adult like I am, you understand that perfectly. We're talking about a Star Wars joke where you watched episodes 4, 5, and 6 first, then you'll use the prequels episodes 1, 2, and 3. And did you actually know there's supposed to be nine episodes of the original Star Wars franchise? Which is why Boba Fett only has five lines, because they're going to introduce him more as a major villain in the next three movies after episodes 4, 5, and 6. But episodes 7, 8, and 9 in that original draft end up getting cut. Which is why Boba Fett, Boba Fett only has five lines. Also, his show comes out soon. Prepare to see some more Boba Fett content on the channel as well. That would be fun. Anyways, back to Amphibia. Didn't I forbid you no. from working on uh, him? Not it's good. way too dangerous it for is. you to be messing around with things it you is. don't understand. Yes. Yeah, my hair Very still much so. from the last time you knew what you were ah. doing. Oh what if we God. can turn him on this time? Spring. He pulls off your legs. You just got your legs. Oh, that's a good awesome one, actually. Him, good point. I think we should wait till we get back to Amphibia to turn him on. Just to be safe. True. Second. True. Thirded. I don't believe... Mm, oh, man. I, I understand why Polly is so upset about this, because while... Like, she loves her family, don't get me wrong, but, like, it's the point where, like, this is was, was one of her only friends back home in Amphibia, and her family saying no to bringing him back to life, which is going to be functioning, supposedly, must hurt like hell for Polly. Like, that sucks. But Anne's, Anne's point on Polly's legs is a good one. She did just get her legs, and if he, he does shoot a laser at her legs, they will have to be gone, so... It is a major problem if that were to take place. There's, there's not even a question about it. But see, I hate seeing Polly cry because, like, I mean, like, no one likes to see their favorite character cry. And while my favorite character is a mixture of many in this show, no one likes to see Polly cry because Polly crying is just like. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. But just, dude, this is gonna be bad when this thing. Because I don't think it's, I, I think it's, I don't think it's gonna be Frobo. It's gonna be it's like a Frankenstein version of Robo. With that reference after earlier in the episode. The work I've done, after how much mm. I've missed him, you three want to leave him dead? Mm. Well, yeah, that I'll looks bad. Ooh. Wait, Polly, get back here. Uh, oh, no. Damn. All right, one more hit, and this ten-hour boss battle will finally be over. I. That is a. Poor, poor Mr. Boochoy. Also, is he playing League? Is that what he was playing? If not, let me know what game he was playing, because I'm pretty sure that was League, but I could be wrong. But, in the in the, in, in, in the case it's not, I'm going to go back for a second, because I want to see what else he was doing there. Hold on. Because he was definitely... Hold on, one second. If I look here... Okay. Spell, Ferga, Potion, plus 20. Yeah, this is definitely... And this is Grind to level 50. I'm. This is 
definitely, I think, level 50. Uh, level 50. This, this is what definitely, I think, um, League, League of Legends. I'm very certain. He also has a bottle of, of square root fuel. <laughs> a bottle of air. An online guidebook. Oh my god, this guy's a legend. Mr. Boonshoy is a legend among fathers, dude. Like, this guy's a goat. This guy's insane. Oh, no. Nope. 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 No. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 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 Oh, no. He's gonna burst through the garage, okay? Um. So he reset to his factory setting. So this isn't. This is so I was kind of right. It's not Frankenstein to where the point where it's a mixture of the bears bat, bear at all, but it's a point where it's he's back to his. She fixed him so well. He's back to his original working state where his job is to do what King Andreas orders him to do. But I'm interested about this for a second because here's why. Because when I what I expected, because what we all expected, Frobo's not red. Frobo is this version, anyways, of the robot Frobo. He's not red in the in the eyes and, and um, arms and everything. He's still blue, which I find... Because he was yellow, now he's blue. The other ones are red. I think these are actually good machines. I think they have the potential to be a good machine. I think King Andrews is just making them into weapons and forming them as an army while they are used as different things, if they can be. It's a good theory, I like it, and it makes sense now. Because Yellow Frobo was just Frobo where he didn't have all of his properties correct in that lab. Now he's fully fixed and functional, as of what we know, and he's blue, but he's not evil. He's normal Frobo. Red Frobo was evil. Well, not Red Frobo, but the red versions of Frobo back in the Amphibia are evil. They're devoted to hurting people. Now, that doesn't explain why all of them are equipped with guns and weaponry, which is why another thing I guess we should mention, but I don't think these are meant to inflict harm all the time. I feel like these things have other properties other than just blowing cannons out of their hands and shit. Can't catch up to Polly while she's there. Oh. Um. <laughs> Polly's face just killed the Oh, no. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, she's in the sky. Oh, yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh, sh how, how, wow, there, like what? Okay, so there's no question about it. Unless Frobo has a parachute in his back, um, we're gonna have to start from scratch with Frobo again. Like he's about to become a pile of bolts and nuts and scratch. No, no, I feel bad. I feel so bad for Polly. Like. No one's trying to be against her, but they're just trying to help her in their own way. And it's not working out for her in her mind. She's like, why are you against me? When in reality, they're just trying to protect her. And she doesn't see it that way because she's a kid. And just that that's how kids are, honestly. I, I, I have a niece and nephew, so I'm very familiar with the situation myself. And that's right, I'm an uncle. <laughs> yeah, get used to it. Uh, oh, no. Hmm. This is so sad. Oh my god. This is emotional as hell. Wow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Yellow. You aren't allowed to bring a memory flash back into here. Make me cry. You son of a bitch. Oh, you son of a bitch. You clever son of a bitch. Oh god. We've known this character since season two. This isn't even like one of those things where it's like Sprig falling off the side of the castle. But, uh, really? And you're just going to kill him like Gwen Stacy in Amazing Spider-Man 2? That's rough. That's tough, man. Get some F's in the chat for that shit. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. We're really getting here, though. We're really we're really getting to that point. Okay. I I'm, I I'm down. Let let's go. Okay. I'm here for it. Bring on the memory flashback train. Let's get it. Bring it. All right. Oh man. Yep. Ah, sadness. Ah. Yeah, that happened indeed. That sucked when that happened. 
And he's back to yellow now. Okay, so he's normal until he hits the, hits the floor. So there's that. But, but, again, I want to emphasize this point while we're here. Blue Frobo was not evil when he was not himself. So we've got three stages. You've got the blue Frobo. You've got the neutral yellow Frobo, which was where he first started at. And then you've got the red evil ones. Blue, red, Frobo. You've got good over here, evil over here, neutral Frobo. So what does the blue mean? That's the question I need figured out. Theories in the comment section, you guys figured it out too. I'm curious. Oh, wow. Alright, yep. Hey. Until you hit the cement. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, if he breaks again. Oh my god, he's gonna break again. Damn it, he's gonna break again, isn't he? He is, 100%. Uh. No, that sucks. Okay. Mm. That oh, that's dark. Uh, that oh, mm. um, ow. Just gonna sit here in pain and register that thought. Brought him back and killed him again. Huh. Well, um, welcome back to um uh, any Avengers comic ever. No, <laughs> I know I'm kidding. Um, but no. Um, rest in peace, Frobo. You beautiful creature. Again, because you died twice now. Probably, a th he'll probably die a third time too. If I'm being honest, I'm making that theory right now. He's gonna die a third time in the final battle, but let's hope not. No. Damn. Oh, he's still awake. Ah. Uh, oh, is oh he's still up. Hi. Hey. What's up, dude? How is he? How is he even? How is he even awake? Okay. Uh. Piece, at least. That is true. Time, oh, the it's control. the hard drive in his head. That's why he's awake. Because the hard drive isn't in his body, it's in his head. So, he can help... Oh my god, he can help them out make a new body. So that actually works out perfectly. As long as Frobo is who he says he is and doesn't switch back to a evil killing machine. So there's that. But, yeah. So Frobo... So really, in reality, he was just fine. He didn't even need a body the whole time. He just needed to have a battery pack in his head. So that's the reason why it wasn't turned on. So this whole situation could have been avoided clearly. What else is new? <laughs> really she, yeah, she yourself, really huh? did. Maybe what the heck? The to what the... No, too, no. Instead of watching cat no. Videos. no, you're going to watch cat videos. Cat videos. cat videos. Yep, yeah. Yep. Sprig. <laughs> <laughs> I love this show. You to get it, get a mixture of Polly doing nerd stuff. These three are dancing, and Mr. Boonjoy is flipping out because the backyard has exploded. Oh, this show is great. This show is magnificent in so many ways. All right. That being said, we are on to part B now, called An Exterminator. Whatever that means, which I think is a reference to the robot. The robot, I just saw the robot in the thumbnail, so I know the robot's in this episode now. Alright, bring it on, Amphibia, part B. If you play, there we go. And Sterminator. Let's see this robot blow up and explode. Oh, there's a town. Alright, Mr. Robot. Claw he got a claw hand. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, he's really... Oh my god. This thing is pissed off. <laughs> oh, why did he respond like that? Why is he responding like a teenager on the phone? Or whatever he's calling this guy on. I also want to mention that, that he equipped himself with a claw hand and a nail o -matic. This dude is ready to kill people. Like, for real. Like, this dude is not... Oh, and a saw blade attached to his chest. Like, this dude's crazy. And he fixed his eye. Where's he getting all these parts from? Ex exactly, huh? Where's he getting this shit from? He's like, alright, so I'm at the top of the church again. Let me just, uh, turn to, turn to, the repairs. Like, like, what, what's he doing exactly, huh? He's, he's getting these from Bob the Builder? Like, what's going on here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Alms uh, have mercy. This you can tell me Anne isn't dead yet. She's not. She Working isn't. Yeah, she well, is. Looks like we uh, have to the what? I'm sorry. Oh. Oh no. Oh. This, okay. Well, I mean, uh, you know, I had a theory about the robot being gone this episode. I'm 
pretty sure it's gone. Like, I'm pretty, yeah, a little, little tad bit. I'm pretty sure if it doesn't kill it by the time it's done, uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to blow up anyways. So, that's like, yeah, I, I don't think it's going to, this is the end of it. You know, you had a nice five episode run, you know, good job for you. Um, and we'll see in the, in Valhalla, you know, like, <laughs> shit. But no, so King Andrews really just said, you know what, all right, you're not killing Anne fast enough? Okay, you either kill her in an hour or you blow up. And if you blow up in front of Anne, she's dead anyways, so it doesn't really matter. So King Andrews gets what he wants both ways here. Not good for Robot Man, though. F and sh He is insane. You gotta get going, dude. You gotta start. Yeah, yes, just, just. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, shit. That ain't good. You should cloak. You should cloak. Oh no! Bloodthirsty predator oh, meets oh, all American what? engineering in. I thought Frobo was talking for a second. I nearly had a heart attack. I was like, he has a voice like that. No, but I was a TV. <laughs> so, so this is so okay. This being said, so this robot can detect Frobo from wherever he is if he's turned on. Meaning that that's the reason why he couldn't detect him sooner because Frobo didn't have a battery pack on, as we literally just learned last episode. So. Now he has a better idea where they all are. He's rushing to the, the Boon Choi's house right now, meaning they gotta get out of there, or they gotta leave Frobo somewhere else and hope in hopes that he doesn't find all of them and just finds Frobo instead. But then Frobo dies. You know, like I'm not sure what to think of this right now. I'm not sure what to do. It's too complicated a situation. I do not know what to do. At all. Okay. Anyways. Episode. I don't know what that was, my hands. Fumigator four. Yes! Fumigator four were I what that is wow okay you know see Anne, yep it really is remarkable pep talk how much you have grown here we go Aww, thanks mom I mean, love this to be so irresponsible uh, change the grade on yeah. your report card irresponsible oh <laughs> that what yep i not gonna lie never had to do that never had to do that one time ever before not once i've seen people how to i've seen how to do it if you do do it like that i've never had to though because um, for what for two reasons one because I study the shit out of school which is the reason why if I'm not on YouTube I'm just doing school work and two because um, if I do get a bad grade I'd rather take the punishment right there and then than have to delay it because I don't know the truth and then I end up getting screwed over because of it my parents don't let the shit fly they would ground me because they would not be, they'd be like uh, you lied to us about your report card yeah you're grounded get out get out of the house for a week <laughs> no I'm kidding I'm just like just like, just do not lie about your grades, kids. Just get good grades, or if you get a bad grade, tell your parents what's going on. Very right. true. Yeah, except for the giant Just killer robot so coming for you guys. Come here, sweetie. Bring it in. Yeah, hug. Ugh, that feels bad for you, I'm, uh, though. Gonna go get uh, the ice cream. Anyone want any? Uh, uh, I'm good. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What? Eat coffee ice cream? Uh, that, that is... No, coffee ice cream is delicious. But no, um, I get what she's talking about. So it's clearly the, the killer robot. The killer robot is definitely a problem. I do like how she pulls Sprig aside. She's like, yeah, let's go to the kitchen where they definitely can hear us talk about the killer robot coming for us right now. It's definitely not that noticeable, right? 100% not. 100% not. I will say, though, I'm intrigued. Just, so is this going to be an episode where we see Anne and her mom in the back of their car driving home after Anne shows everyone her blue powers after killing this robot? Which explains the explosion in the sky. Okay, so we know that everyone's going to be just fine after this episode's over, hopefully. But as of right now, we the only problem we have is that Anne's parents don't st know still. That's the only problem we have. Other than that, we're good. So, yeah. Right. I told them about Andreas, or the robot hunting Yeah, us, or oh, the yeah. Fucking yeah, that too. Ugh. A little bit of stuff. They think I'm being a little bit of stuff. Honest. Yeah, what you are. Not? You like, are, though. You said this was the only way they'd be okay with That I is also this. true. I know, but it's not right. I'm going to tell them everything. Not now. Right now. No, not a good idea. Mom? I would Dad? wait a little longer. There's something Tab I it. have to tell you. Tab it. What is it, sweetie? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that, that doesn't help the anything. Thing is... That's the thing. It's on your roof. It's here to kill you. <laughs> like, <laughs> you've been trying to reach about your car's extended warranty recently. We haven't been able to find you, so we found you instead. <laughs> Wait, no, that made me sense. You haven't been reaching out to us, so we found you instead. Thank you for accepting our agreements, and we'll see you next week. Literally the most annoying phone call you could ever get. And then they leave that voicemail. I have like five of them on my phone. I swear to God. And yes, you are seeing a Lumity phone screen. I love Lumity. It's a great thing on the planet. Okay.
Anyways, um, yeah, the frog killing machine is on your roof now. Too late to tell the truth. Get in the damn car. Get out of there. This this poor house has been through so much bullshit. Episode one, it was meeting the planners. Episode two, I honestly forget. Episode three, um, that was the episode where we um, uh, that was cat sitting. Yes. Episode four was the one where we were introduced to Thai Temple, and then it got the house got messed up because of um, 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 um what is the name of the cat? Good lord. Where, 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 where'd it go? Where'd it go? Domino. Domino. Thank you. And then it, in episode 5, now it's messed up by not only Froa bursting through the garage roof and into the backyard, it's getting attacked by a killer robot from Andreas, and it's gonna blow up if they're getting out of the house. This is bad. For everybody. What? I'm home! Ben, what's going on? Yeah. Holy shit, a brick. Yeah, be good, idea. Oh, no. No. This is not a workout. Oh. Yes, it is. When I thought you ran away, is why I work out all my stuff. No, no, Wait, no, no, why no, 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 like no, 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 I, I believe I get that joke, but because I don't want to make too much fun of it, I'm not going to say anything about it. That being said, that is freaky, but I also understand that parents go that, that, that I mean, I mean, I, I, I don't actually know for sure, but clearly Anne's mom went through a phase where um, she missed Anne to the point where she was making arts and crafts out of Anne, I guess. Also, this is meme-worthy material. Take a picture. <laughs> I swear, all, so you guys can see it. Monitor over here is my, is is my uh, my my monitor I look at when I'm talking to you guys. Sorry, no, my monitor. Th this monitor is holding my recording software. This monitor right here in front of me is holding the is holding the, um, uh, the actual episode. But I'm I'm looking straight at the camera right here, and below it is just this face, and it's so funny to me. But no, um, real talk though. This poor house. They're not, they have to move. They're gonna have to move. There is no question about it. I have no doubt in my mind they have to move. Oh, that's good though. He doesn't. Oh, yeah, that's not good. It doesn't help your parents one bit. Oh my! Look, few things, few things. Tap it. Just in the house. How they get to the garage? You can find the car. You get everyone in the car, and then get down the street and out of there, going 30 miles an hour. Explanation time. Also, like there, yeah, there's a few things you haven't told them. Like you said in the kitchen. It's a few things. Tad minor details that don't really matter. Alien invasion, nothing important. You can save that for Thanksgiving dinner, honestly. It's it, it's a it's a wait time. You've got a month. I mean Halloween's going on in two days, but you got a month to tell them about the alien invasion. You're fine. Alright. This thing's not even cloaking anymore. Why is it not cloaking? How do you how how are people like that? I'm sorry, uh, I'm running from yeah. a crazy robot. I know just how yeah. to Mr. B. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Time that robot <laughs> this isn't the uh, that shouldn't have been, been brought up at all. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, in all fairness, Anne, Anne really hasn't told them about any of the... Actually, that's a good point. Has Anne told her parents about any of the troubling times she's been through over throughout this entire trip because we know that she's told them that she's been saying to the planners what about the killer um the killer the killer the killer serpent that tried to kill both Anne and Sprig in that lake in the first season in the first episode what what about that one what about the toad tower coming to kill all of them what about Sasha trying to kill everyone that sh that Anne cared about at the time how about the fact that Marcy's been stabbed through her chest and literally is turning into a demon as we speak Questions that need answers that your parents are gonna be confused about for probably a long amount of time because you didn't tell them up ahead of time. Whose fault is that? Not yours. Want to know why? Because you're going through trauma. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Anyways, back to this. You need a cloak, my guy. Optimus Prime. <laughs> ten is ten. Yes. No. Yeah. Oh, I love this scene. This is great. Good action right here. Your backhand is looking pretty rusty. Ah. <laughs> There is okay. Don't hate me. There's no possible physical physical way that they were bouncing the tennis ball back and forth unless the robot was hitting it to the point where it was hitting it so hard that it was moving in that direction 
while they were going 60 on a highway. Meaning that that tennis ball was moving at 85 miles per hour, if not more than that, at that point in time. Pointing that out there, there alone. Just saying, throwing out physics-wise. And uh, also, the nails wouldn't be moving at that speed either. They'd be flying backwards because, again, they're moving in one direction right here, right? Watch it, let's do it this way. They're moving in this direction right here, right? They're moving here, this way. So, if it's following them, and the nail's getting shot this direction, because it's not moving that fast, they'd shoot out and go We're this way. They'd fly back towards the way that they were going. Because they're not standing still. They're moving in that way. It's shooting this way, but it can't catch up. It's getting... You know what? You guys are here for the episode, not to hear about phys phys physiological things going on. Oh, shut up. Wait, should I take... I don't know. Uh... This hour? It'll be jammed, uh, guys! Hang on. I look at traffic... Oh, I'm my God. Par par charge. Parents don't do this load. all the time. I swear. Get Bigger problems. Yep. There we go. Nice. Not good, though. Okay. Oh! Ram it, ram it, ram it, ram it, ram it, ram it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir, Mr. Boon Choi. The thing I love about the Boon Choi family is that they're they're not even, like, they're questioning it, right? But they're, like, going with the flow with this. They're like, you know what? Our daughter's in danger. The planters are in danger. Let's drive this car 85 mi miles an hour down the highway and run over the machine and floor it down. Like, just, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so good. I mean, I get that they're trying to protect Anne, too, but then the problem is that I feel like a robot's going to threaten Anne's parents here, which is what I think is going to come next, which is how her blue powers are going to come out in the first place, because robot's going to endanger her parents and the planners, or both, and then blue power's going to come out, she's going to punch that thing, things going to explode. Is she going to lose her arm this episode? There's no way. There's, it's too early in this season three. There's, It's way too early in season three to see Anne lose an arm like everyone's uh, um, get, um, assuming in this season. There's no way. If they pull us off this episode, I'll cry. Just let that throw that out there. That's a t oh, ugh, not what do you good. Mean? There's a giant robot trying to ah. kill us. I thought that was clear. Oh my yes, god. But why, Anne? Yeah. Is there something you want to tell us? There oh, is actually. Easy. Honey, maybe we should hear there her is. out. No, she's lying mm. to us. You're done something, uh. haven't you? That's why that thing is after us. Not good. Not good at all. I knew it. This isn't we good. We were wrong about you. Yes. Ooh, ooh, that's a harsh line. That is a, even for a, a parent, that's a harsh line. And receiving that line as a child is rough. That, it's rough. Like that, that was. Damn! Like, shit. Okay. Huh. Well, that's traumatizing. It's, it's one thing to hear that from like a friend. It's worse from your best friend. It's terrible when it's a sibling. It's even worse when it's a parent. Especially a parent. I personally never heard that before. But let me just say, if I were to hear that from my parents, I would instantly be in tears. Or just extremely upset and just try to hold it like a man. Because that is such a harsh line to hear. I don't even know what to even say to that. You're, you're, you're just there like... Like, you have, like, that's when your brain freezes and you have nothing else to say. You're just speechless. Fine. Do the same irresponsible oh little my girl God. used to cut class. Shit. When are you going to grow up? Mm. When are you going to stop getting in trouble? When? Uh. When? I don't know, okay? Hey, hey. Ooh. Damn. I don't know when I'll be the daughter you want me to be. Mm. And I'm sorry. It's true. I did lie. Mm. God, we're but getting I personal. the people I really care True. About. That is true. Indeed. But, um, why are you guys yelling when this thing can literally pick up anything you guys are doing? Like, it can do every nightmare you guys are expecting. A matter of seconds. Run. <laughs> like, that's all I gotta say. You know, like, you guys are screwed, and it's all your own fault. Point being said, point being said, you're stupid. Anyways, continue. I don't know. That thing is beyond... So Pissed. No, really not really. There's not. There isn't one, really. Ah, hey, disguising Mom, another... Like your yep. Skills to use? Smart. 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 Very smart. Okay, ten minutes till that thing explodes. Theory time. Here we go. Anne, or Anne's mom, Mrs. Boon Choi, she's gonna make a fake Anne. It's gonna fall for it at first. Then it's gonna kidnap the parents... 
or planters, or both, then Rayland's going to show herself, show that her family's in danger. Blue Power's going to activate. She's going to punch the thing into the sky. It's going to blow up. Takes care of the robot. Anne's injured in some shape or form. Mr. Boonto is clearly driving them home for the night. And is going to end us off with a cliffhanger, showing us Amphibia, maybe evil Marcy. Theory time. Let's see if I'm right. If I am, I'm going to throw my head out the window. Mark, nice job. Yeah. It's all about that is good. Baby. It's good. Nice job. Who's the real one? You'll never find it. Oh, unless you do that. And just murder every single one. Hold it. Was this... Just, wait. This was a... Hold on. Okay. If, we're, if I'm being honest here, this was possibly one of the dumbest things you could have done because there's a saw blade on its chest. It takes one good swing... Someone's getting cut in half, or getting cut up the front, and someone's dying. Wants to be like, you know what? We can't we can play games, and it's just gonna capture all of them. And Anne's be like, oh, this went not according to plan. That's not good. You think the nail gonna be out of ammo now by two? At this point, too. Like, there's no way there's still nails in that thing. It shot like eighteen thousand out of it. Like, what? we love storyboard predictions. Here we go. Not good. That's bad. Hey, oh, oh, that's a sledgehammer. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That thing just got messed up. That was powerful. That was lovely. I loved all of that. That was perfection at its finest. Okay. Now that my voice is almost gone, <laughs> um, okay, well, that was a, dude, can we, can we just gotta praise, praise Mrs. Boon Choi, you know? You can't be mad about it, you can't be mad about it, just give it up, standing ovation, you know, just gotta give it up to her, give it up to her, just, so good, it was so good, it was so good. Thank you, Mrs. Boon Choi, for helping your daughter in her most time of need after she didn't tell you anything that she needed to tell you. Nice. But no, um, let's get right to it. This I want to see the end of this robot so bad. Bomb! There's a bomb in the robot! There's a bomb in the robot! There's a... No. <laughs> oh my god. Um... <laughs> yeah, no indeed, this is bad. Um, we all know the Anne's gonna just turn into blue power and it just punch it into the sky, though. So we're just chill... Unless Mr. Boontoy just kind of, like, goes beast mode here and just... Get some guys rid of it. Miss Boon Choi Hulk. <laughs> but no. Um, this is just like. This is crazy. I love this so much. I, I, I can't express how much I love this. Alright, and what's she gonna do to Mr. Self Destruct and 10 Second Robot Man? Yeah, no. Hi, Ant. Yeah, there we go. Hi. Appreciate that. Parents are about to be flipping out like crazy now. Here we go. Bring it. Yeah! Oh, she kicked it. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, that's a great shot. That is a great shot. Oh, my God. That... Holy shit! Okay, well, that's gonna be the cliffhanger then. Okay. So, I will... Okay. I wanna make one thing clear right now. There was a significant reason they showed the arm of the robot hitting the ground. There's no... We're not gonna pass by that. It's laying on the ground. They they specifically put a shot of the episode in where it shows that arm hitting the ground. Why? Why do you think that is? Take a guess. One of my guesses? He's not gone. <laughs> like, we're going to see more of him still. Even though he did blow up in space, we're seeing more of him. I wouldn't mind seeing him versus Frobo in the future. Be like seeing Godzilla versus Kong, except the Amphibia version, honestly. I, I watch that shit. 100%. Which is good. Just been trying to protect you three. I get true. You know. Very true. And whatever yes. it is you guys need to do, we'll do it together. Good. Ah. Happy to hear oh, it. The driver always gets left out of the group hug. Can you guys just imagine up yep. there? Yeah. Th that felt... Oh, we're at the FBI office. Um, it felt that, though, Mr. Boon Choi. A relatable feeling. Trust me. I understand it completely. But don't worry, Mr. Boon Choi. I also don't understand the feeling because I don't have passengers in my car ever. I'm alone. Help me. <laughs> but no. Um, yeah, definitely, um, 
good, definitely good. You know, I enjoy that. That's good though. I'm glad their parent. I got her parents are understanding more. So FBI office, what you got for me? Get Bring it on. You on the line. This may be the real. Yeah. It's time to call Mr. X. Mr. X. The hell's Mr. X? The hell's Mr. X? What the hell's Mr. X? Mr. X. 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 Mr. X. Hold on. Is there any? Wait, guys. I have an idea. Wait. Wait. Are you seeing this? Hold on a minute. If I show you guys this, hold on one second. Wait, there's no way. Mr. X, he says. Mr. X. Oh my god, it's Mr. X! But no, okay, okay, okay. No. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I promise I'm done. Okay, but no. Um. <laughs> um. I think I've described my feelings with these episodes very clearly by now. Um, I've talked enough throughout the episode, and if you, guys, I hope you guys understand that's just that's just how I react. I like to talk through episodes as I'm talking through them, so that way you understand what's going on. Well, I understand what's going on at the same time, and then I can make theories about the episode as they go along. Amount of pauses is because I don't want to get copyright striked and blocked on YouTube for making this kind of stuff for you guys. So I hope you guys understand that as well. But you guys have been watching me. I'm BD Heath, and I will see you on the next video. Peace out, and have a good one. Okay?